In 2011, George Barna conducted a research project that he claims is one of the most challenging projects he ever undertook. Over the period of six years, his organization made telephone contacts with 15,000 people. And they were asking them questions about their spiritual life, their Christian faith formation and development. They were trying to ascertain where are people in North America in their walk with God, so to speak. The results were astonishing. Barna found from his research that people tend to find themselves at one or another of what he calls the 10 transformational stops. Number one, unaware of sin. Number two, indifferent to sin. Number three, worried about sin. Number four, forgiven from sin. Number five, forgiven and active in the church, in the activities of the church. Number six, holy discontent. Number seven, broken by God. Number eight, surrender and submission. Number nine, profound love for God. And number 10, profound love for people. It gets really interesting when you see where the population of Americans fall across the spectrum. 1%, 16%, 39%, 24%, It's not surprising to see most of the action centering around numbers three through five. You're a sinner, you need a savior. Pray this prayer and you're forgiven. Now get involved in the church. What's fascinating though, is the way the spectrum begins to break down after the first half. From number six, holy discontent, through number 10, profound love of God and people, nine and 10, only 11% of the population fall within that range. On the other side, one through five, we see 89% of the American population according to this research. It seems clear that we're going halfway, but not the other half. You see, John Wesley said the people uh, called Methodists were raised up for this second half. In fact, he used the language, he said that this gospel, this truth of sanctification, of holiness, is the grand depositum which God has seemingly raised up the Methodist people to proclaim. And from this research, it looks as though we have not proclaimed it very well. So Seedbed earnestly desires to see the bars get raised on the right-hand side of the chart. On justification by grace through faith, we stand squarely with the magisterial reformers of the church. But we think today what is most needed is a revolution of sanctification, a renaissance of scriptural holiness. In the 18th century, Count Zinzendorf, who was a founder of a Moravian community at Hernhut, great influence on the Wesleyan movement, maybe said it best when he said, many people will follow the Lord halfway, but not the other half. He said they will willingly give up possessions and property and wealth, but it touches them too deeply to disown themselves. You see, that's what the whole gospel is about. It's about 
profound love for God and profound love for people. Seabed exists to sow that whole gospel into the whole world. Will you join us? That's all we got for you today. This is Seedboard, George Barner Research, take one. He said they will willingly give up their... Count Zinzendorf of Hernhut and the Moravian establishment Okay, ready? Here's take three. Moravian. Oh, come on. It's to go the other half. Oh, Count Zinzendorf may have said it the best. Count he. Okay, let's start over one more time. Broken by God, submission and surrender. I messed it up again. I'm no Jay Moon. Okay, I'm no Ben Witherington.